Hello, it's Rhea. Wherever you are and whatever time it is, I hope you are enjoying yourself. So, you probably read the title and was like, what the heck is Persartify? <laughs> um, I don't know, should it be like Persartify or Personify? They sound similar, but I thought like the pun would be funny. I don't know, sorry. <laughs> Uh, essentially, it's based off of personification, which you probably learned in elementary English class if you took that. It's a term that's usually used in poetry and um, literature, but it basically means to turn something that is non-human um, into like, like giving it human attributes, if you will. But um, that's more of like in a literary sense. This is just like literally taking something that isn't human and making it human, <laughs> like giving it a human design. So today's video is essentially introducing these little personifications I did of popular summer fruits. And yes, I know summer is technically over and blah, 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 it's fall. Don't get me wrong, autumn is my favorite season, I believe, but I do reside in Texas, so. Technically, I could argue that it's still summer for me. So if you don't mind giving me a pass for how late this is. Also, so I'm sure you noticed by now, this is gonna be in like the typical procreate time-lapse format. Um, like I tend to do for my anime birthday fan art videos, which by the way, I'm giving up for the rest of the year on those. <laughs> At least I made it halfway, but yeah. And as always, feel free to let me know which recording style you guys prefer. I'll continue to like try out different things from time to time until you guys either let me know or until I figure out what I like best, but yes. But in light of um, the birthday fan arts dying, <laughs> at least this will be kicking off a new series where I take inanimate objects or subjects and I design a character based off of it. Which, in no way is this a new concept, of course, so please don't think I'm claiming otherwise. I have been aware of this for many years now, and there's tons of artists that have done this before and still continue to do so till this day because it's just so fun. But I just figured I'd like to do it since I enjoy creating characters and playing with design, so it'd be a good thing to hopefully like strengthen that character design skill over time. If not, at least like strengthen my creativity. So yes, without further ado. Wait, wait, real quick. I think it'd be kind of cool if you paused right now and then took a guess for what you think each person's fruit is going to be. I'm about to show the sketches and it's going to say who's going to be what so you can see if you were right or not. Also, I started these out as like sketches in my sketchbook. Um, just kind of playing with the idea of the characters and their potential personalities or aesthetics, which you could probably see like my little notes of concerning handwriting. <laughs> it's me trying to flesh out like what I figured this fruit would be like if they were an actual person. So here I am now, a year later, with the digital drawings hoping that I did them justice. And as you can see, we're starting out with a uh, white peach who is Yellow Peach's brother, their siblings, because I kind of wanted like all of them to be some kind of like squad in a way because I thought that'd be really cute. And so, uh, yeah, his characteristics, he's kind of like quiet, done with life. I put that he's drunk probably half the time, but most people can't tell because he always has such a flushed face from being sunburnt because he likes to go outdoors a lot. Um, yeah, I just thought his character would be like cute because he'd be like the introverted one and then Yellow Peach would be like the extroverted one. And yeah, I don't know, I just really liked it. And during this time, I'm having like a style crisis while I started this. <laughs> and so I was trying out different things. Like digitally, I would use different brushes for some of the uh, different characters whenever I did this. And so this one's very like, I call it like very, I don't want to say anime, but like when I think, when I say that, I'm thinking of like the fact that the line art is so like, prominent and flat and I don't I feel like I'm trying to get a little bit more away from that or at least not always do that but yeah I feel like overall though it turned out okay um the colors ended up definitely being very fall like so I guess in that aspect I am in theme <laughs> but yeah that's white peach also you can see for all of these I'll do some sort of like design over them like at the end of like their name and uh, yeah, just to like sort of play with that a little bit more. I am also a designer, so I do like to sort of like from time to time bring the two together. So yeah, but this is Yellow Peach. Um, she's cute. <laughs> I'm curious which one you guys prefer, if you like Yellow Peaches or White Peaches more. I like the way White Peaches look, but I think in terms of like flavor, I like Yellow Peaches, but 
I don't know, it just depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Both peaches are great. We love peaches. <laughs> um, but in regards to her character, she's very like, I think life of the party. She's very like energetic and she's like annoyingly pretty and like sweet and like playful. I feel like she'd be the one to like round everybody up and be like, come on guys, we're gonna go do this. Let's go do this today. Let's go to the beach, yay. Like <laughs> that kind of personality. So very much the opposite of White Peach, who is just trying to like vibe and mind his own business. <laughs> but they're great. And I just sort of like that idea of them being siblings. And as for like the drawing, I feel like it turned out okay. I'm still sort of trying to play around a little bit. I don't know, some of these I put more effort in than others. It's either that or they just happen to come out better than others. I'm not really sure, but... And as you saw in the sketches, I had like different plans for her hair, but I feel like I like the idea of like a little bun on top. Just one little bun that's like a peach bun, <laughs> pretty much, and her hair is like a little bit uh, wavy, I guess. Very like delicate, feminine, but like playful at the same time, because I feel like that makes sense for a peach i don't know correct me if i'm wrong but yeah either way i really liked like the peachy color palette it's very fun and i always liked like that kind of a uh, like that hairstyle or like the hair coloring where it's like um like a sort of light blonde or like light orange to like a pink i love seeing that hair color it's so cute and it's so like aesthetically pleasing to look at so yes, you know I had to do that for this character. <laughs> and I think like the pink glittery top is very like cutesy, playful, flirty, and it really like sort of wraps the whole look up together. So yeah, I feel like I enjoy my exploration with this uh, personification, if you will. And next up is Watermelon. So I love watermelon, like honestly, when it comes to summer, it's like the first fruit that I think of um, because I always have it and it's always good. <laughs> it's literally just like sweet water in a fruit. That's, that's pretty much what you're getting. I don't know if I really like, I heard the seedless ones aren't as sweet, but it's like, I don't wanna have to worry about spitting out the seeds whenever I'm eating. It's so much to deal with. Uh, I hate like when I bite into a nice piece and there's like a seed that I crunch down on and I'm like, ugh. Also, did anyone else have like their sibling or like their parents tell them like, oh, if you swallow a watermelon seed, it's gonna grow in your stomach. That traumatized me. <laughs> So uh, as a kid, like for some reason, I just believed it to be true and that's like so silly looking back, but yeah, uh, being gullible as a child isn't fun. <laughs> but anyways, in regards to her character, Watermelon is kind of like, like, so she gets along with Strawberry a lot and so she's kind of like the baddie and Strawberry's like the cutie. I mean, Watermelon's still cute, don't get me wrong. But she's definitely like has a mischievous side to her. I feel like she's <laughs> I feel like she'd be like a tattoo artist or something. Like, I don't know, I kinda just get that vibe. She also has an undercut, which obviously you can't see in like this drawing, but I feel like that would be a staple thing for her to have. And uh yeah, I love like the watermelon colored hair pretty much at the bottom. I don't know how I feel about the hairstyle. In the sketch, I feel like I liked it more because it was like even shorter, but this one, I don't know. It reminds me of like that cat meme, if you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Where it has like a watermelon on its head. But yeah, I do like how the eyes came out in this because I've been trying to experiment more with like how I do my eyes since I want to make them look a little bit more dynamic. And yeah, I think I worked on that pretty well, but Overall, I feel like it's okay. <laughs> and now for Pineapple, which I feel like... <sighs> I could have done him more justice. I feel so bad. Pineapple, I'm so sorry. <laughs> he's so precious. Like, his whole thing is he's like... He's kind of like a goofball. Like, he's like... I guess sort of like a jock almost. Like, he likes flexing. <laughs> and he likes to act cool and stuff. So, like, the squad makes fun of him and all of that, um, like lightheartedly. And he has a crush on Mango, but he's like an idiot and he doesn't really know how to talk to them <laughs> properly. But his um, 
his little scrunchie that keeps his hair up is from Mango, so. Yes. And um, I tried to do his hair, because he's supposed to have, like, I guess, dreads. Um, and I feel like doing, like, dreads or braids or, like, specifically, like, black hair, um, I do it better traditionally. Digitally, I have, feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm contemplating if I should, like, try out a brush pack or something, but I also want to, like, get it down before I go to, like, brush packs. So, yeah, but I feel like I could have done that better. I also don't think I needed to do a saturation change at the end, but these are lessons to be learned. We are trying. I feel like in concept though, pineapple is really precious to me. <laughs> and next up is Mingo, who I feel like I also didn't do as well justice either. So I'm really heartbroken about that because Mango is so, oh my God, we love them. They're so precious. <laughs> So like his concept is, I don't know if you saw in the sketches, but like if you lift up his bangs, like he's super freaking pretty, like he's gorgeous, we love him, oh my god. And um, basically he is very shy, very soft-spoken, and his bangs are always covering his eyes of course. So um, but if you lift up his bangs, he blushes, he's like, ah, what are you doing? <laughs> But, uh, yes, so he may have a crush back on pineapple, but, um, like I said, pineapple's a little bit dense, uh, so Mango has to, like, even though they probably prefer to flirt subtly, sometimes pineapple doesn't always get it, so. But yeah, I just thought it'd be a cute trope. And as for, like, the design, I was kind of struggling because I realized I never really thought about the colors, so I was trying to go with, like, mango colors. And I don't know if I did that justice. Also, I feel like proportionally wise, their head is like a little bit too big. So mm, both of these, I feel like were a fail and I'm trying, but like, gosh, I need to try harder. <laughs> but nevertheless, it was cute. And I like the little fruit pattern in the back for um, the past three that I did. I do feel like the colors at the end are a little bit overwhelming and I could have mixed that around a little bit better, but <sighs> what can I say? And we are now to the last fruit, which is also another fruit of mine that I really, really love. Strawberry! I mean, who doesn't like strawberries? If you don't, I'm sorry, you might have to leave. <laughs> this is a strawberry enthusiast zone only. I'm sorry. No, but um, strawberry, of course, like being another one of my favorites, I had to like glam up. I already have an OC of mine that is a little bit strawberry based. Her name is Phrase. So I'm no stranger to drawing strawberry themed characters. It's very fun and I also like have been memeing with myself on drawing a tons of pink haired characters lately because it's just my branding I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I love pink hair but yeah so strawberry is like very very e-girl aesthetic honestly like very like soft-spoken she's like hi <laughs> and you know very like pretty makeup with like the blushies and um you know very like dainty feminine probably says fight me and probably cannot fight to save her life <laughs> um thinks about girls a lot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we love her also i gotta say out of all the ones that i did strawberry came out probably mm, the best um, in regards to like how I did it stylistically and everything, I probably felt like the most comfortable. And I don't know if that's just because like she has a lot of things that I really like <laughs> in the character uh, or what, but I just really like how I felt like the most comfortable doing this stylized. So did I solve my digital style crisis? Probably not, but I have definitely like taken steps from where I was at the beginning with White Peach for sure. So yeah. Um, it looks like that's all the characters, which brings us to the end of the video, so thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you'd like me to do any fall flavors personified next, maybe like apple, pumpkin kind of thing. And uh, if you enjoyed your time here today, please feel free to leave a like. And if you're interested to see more of my content, you can check out my other videos or subscribe. And for reference, if you're new, I am Rhea or Etheria, and I like making art and art related content. While my goal is to post at least weekly videos, you can always follow me on Twitter or other social media for more timely updates. But yes, until then, again, thank you so much for watching, and I wish you a lovely rest of your day or week. Take care!